back to my channel. Today I have a little swatch review for you of some different polishes that I bought of livelovepolish.com and the different brands that I'm going to go through are from Fun Lacquer, Starly, uh, Color Club and Cupcake Polish. Now I only bought like a small selection because um, it's the first time I bought from livelovepolish.com and I was specifically just looking for some hollow polishes since I don't have so much so many of so many hollow polishes and um, so these are just like a small selection of the polishes that they sell and also a very small selection of um, the different brands polishes so there are just five uh, different polishes and I'm going to do it uh, like a voiceover so this doesn't become one of those 30 minute long videos that I suddenly tend to make not on purpose but yeah I hope you enjoy it and if you like watch review videos please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe at the end of the video or just click the subscribe button right now um, please enjoy okay so the first polish in today's nail polish pool is color clubs starlight star bright this is a golden nude linear hollow polish that dries smooth I'm adding two coats for a full coverage. And the results you see hairs without a top coat. This is absolutely a new favorite of mine and it's everything you could ever wish for in a hollow polish. This next polish is from Starly and this is Manchi the cat. If you follow and watch Simply Neological, you know that this is her cat Manchi's polish. So I think this is a collab between her and Starly. This is a light pink, super fine scattered hollow. I'm applying two coats for a semi-opaque coverage. For full, you should apply three. It dries textured as there's glitter in it. But here you can see how it looks without a top coat. I was surprised on how good it looked after the second coat. I was afraid it was going to be completely sheer. The third polish is also from Starly and this shade is called Hustler. This is a light lavender, super fine scattered hollow and this also dries textured. It also needs three coats to become fully opaque, but here you can see how it looks with two coats and no top coat. The lavender color is really subtle and the polish in general is really nice and catches the light perfectly giving a dazzling hollow effect. This next one is from Cupcake Polish and it's called Jubilee. It's a silver hollow with silver flakies and hollow micro glitters. The finished texture is slightly bumpy, so a top coat is recommended. The results you see here is two coats and no top coat. The hollow result on this polish is medium, so it has a more subtle effect than some of the other polishes. The last polish in today's nail polish pool is Fun Lacquer's Royal Chapel H. This is their hollow version of the Royal Chapel Glitter Polish. It's a rose bronze hollow glitter that dries textured. And here's the result of the two coats and without a top coat. The hollow effect together with the glitter is very nice. The formula of this polish was a bit thicker than the rest, but that's because one of the ingredients in it is used to suspend the glitter in place. Although they recommend using a polish thinner to thin the polish out to the desired consistency, I did not do that. 
So all in all, I'm super happy with all of the polishes that I ordered from LiveLovePolish.com. They arrived quite quickly and were all packed safely in nail polish boxes. Links to all of these polishes can be found down below. So I hope you enjoy this little swatch review and remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly nail art goodness and remember to say hi to me on Instagram and if you have any comments, requests or a video you want me to make, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!